Hi, and welcome to another Am I How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, I want to welcome from MSA Safety, Anne Osborne. Anne, welcome, how are you? Thanks for having me, Tom. Hey, I'm excited, you got a whole bunch of good stuff here on set because we're gonna be talking about the three components of fall protection, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like the ABCs, and make mm -hmm. sure I get this right. We got anchorage, body support, and connection. How'd I do? You did great. Awesome, all right, well, let's get started. I want you to walk us through those three essential components of the fall protection system. Absolutely, so each of these must be in place and properly used to provide maximum fall protection. So without it, you could be vulnerable to significant injury or worse uh, when working at height. Yeah, now before we start, I wanna mention that we should always wear the proper mm -hmm. PPE. That's what you guys are all about. Safety is so critical and we say that in every video. That should be priority number one. Obviously, you guys are all about safety, but you know what? This may not be what's on your job site. So for whatever your job calls for, make sure it's the right PPE because safety is always priority number one. Okay, where do you wanna start? So let's start with why. Okay. So OSHA has set rules and regulations mandating the proper use of fall protection. There are three main components to the personal fall arrest system and they must be in place and properly used for maximum protection against falls. So A stands for anchorage points. So an anchorage point is a secure location of attachment such as an I-beam or rebar to which a worker may safely connect their fall arrest system. Yeah, I think of that like an anchor for a ship. Mm -hmm. Keeps it nice in place right there. And you know, I mean, I've seen some pretty tall job sites, so I wanna be anchored properly. And that's right. So there are two ways to test where a location is an acceptable anchor point. Uh, option A, the anchor must be able to withstand 5,000 pounds per attached worker. Uh, a good way to think of 5,000 pounds is the weight of a full-size truck. Option B, the point in question must have a safety factor of two, set by a qualified person. So that means it will hold double the weight in which it is supporting. Okay, now that we've got our anchorage point, how are we gonna connect it? Good question. The answer is anchorage connectors. Um, so these come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Okay. Um, these are certified to connect to anchorage points, but they can be simplified into temporary or something more permanent like that concrete anchor right there. Okay, so that actually physically go into concrete to mm -hmm. secure somebody. And how about That's that right. one right there? Uh, this is something for an I-beam. It can be easily removed okay. um, or put on. All right, well, that's our A, so we're good there. Now, what about our B, Ann? So B stands for body wear, which is your full body harness. So when worn correctly, it will distribute fall force to points on the body that are able to handle it. So in the event of a fall, it's essential that the body harness fits snug. So they come in a variety of sizes, just like people, and you wanna be comfortable in your harness. What about me? What's my size, medium? large. I'm a 1214 in a dress, just in case you wanted to know. Why don't so. we get you uh, fitted in this harness? You put me in the harness? Yes. I knew this was coming. Here we go. Okay. Here the feeling. Under Let's your buckles. Let's see. Uh, all right. And I got leg harnesses here too. All right. I guess I'll throw that on like a jacket. Okay. All right. How's okay, that feel? Good. It feels snug. It feels good. Okay, you good. Know, a little bit of give, but as you say, it's a snug fit. So your body harness is made of several components. So you have your webbing, your padding, uh, hardware, uh, D-rings. It's important to note that not all harnesses are made for all jobs, so make sure you select the right one for your application. Okay, we got A and B. What about C? I know C is connecting, right? Connecting? So C stands for your connecting yeah. devices. So the line that runs from the harness of the worker uh, to your anchorage connector, thus completing your personal fall arrest system. So generally speaking, there are two types of connecting devices, um, an energy absorbing lanyard and a self-retracting lifeline. Um, so there are two types of uh, connector options for these. Um, so a snap hook is the most common. Okay. You can get a larger version known as a rebar or a pelican hook. Carabiners are another option. It actually looks like a pelican, so I can see, yeah. Yes, but okay. all connectors must be auto-closing and auto-locking per OSHA standards. Gotcha. Now, question. Can you connect two or more snap hooks together? Uh, good thought, but no. Per OSHA standards, it's unacceptable to connect snap hooks together. Well, you know, I've seen some workers on job sites where they'll tie a lanyard back onto itself. Is that acceptable? Historically, no, but there are technologies out there uh, testing where lanyards can be tied back upon yourself like this one. Oh, okay. All right. Now, I've noticed that some of these lanyards have a, a pack. What, what's that pack for? So the purpose of this pack is to stop your free fall by decelerating your rate of descent until you come to a complete stop. Um, but there's also another product that can be used besides a lanyard, um, and that is your SRL or self-retracting lifeline. 
Uh, so this can be extracted or retracted during oh, wow. normal movement. Okay. Uh, SRLs are often directly connected to your anchorage connector, while a personal fall limiter can be worn on the worker's back, just like you have on right now. Okay. Well. I don't know. It sounds like we've covered our ABCs, and when used all together, it's a false system that would keep us where we should be. Now, is there anything that we could have missed? That's a good point, but you can't forget about a rescue plan in the event of a fall. Okay. So a well-thought-out emergency response plan is essential, so make sure you think through this when putting together your personal fall arrest system. Well, that was some great information. There's a look on your face like you're, yeah. We need to think through our rescue plan. Yeah, I kind of figured this was coming here. Okay, Oops. fine. Oh boy, I'm going to be in trouble here, so, although I, I feel good, so, what are you doing? Hello, hello, excuse me, hello, uh, Anne, 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 um, Anne, you, what, what are you, uh. We're going to go think through your rescue plan right now. What? You're not, Anne, Anne. That was Anne Osborne with MSA Safety, and, uh, looks like the rescue plan worked. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, please contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location and tell them to come get me.